thing let me just come to forward of tangdom as we see you can see these are the gas sampling points provided which is a sample point 100% 50% 0% port side and this is ventilation line and sample point starboard side you can see three we have to open this and we have to put in our gas meters to check the hydrocarbon and the residue level of the tank which should be kept in the the limits next thing we can see is the this is the booster area you have a can be called as vaporizer or cargo heater can be used as both when we need to vaporize the cargo inside to maintain pressure when it goes to low pressure then we can use we have two lines uh, basically we have two inlets to two inlets and outlets one being a small line that's condensate line and one being a large line that's your this is your condensate line and this one is your vapor uh, liquid line so if you want to increase the pressure inside the tank tank you bring the cargo through condensate line and uh, vaporize it and uh, this cargo heater what you can see or vaporizer what we call it's having a salt water inlet which cool down the cargo and you have the cargo passing in middle and you have the rest of coils uh, around this thing so it will convert your vapors into uh, gas uh, liquid into gas and you can put that back into your cargo tank to increase your pressure of tank when your tank pressure goes down also if you are uh, in some port they ask you to normally the temperature of propane is minus 42.5 and butane is plus 2 to minus 2 max that's the range varies from where you load so sometimes they say you need to discharge at a temperature of 10 degree or 20 degree celsius so what we can do is you can use this cargo heater we will pass cargo through this cargo heater and we'll increase the temperature but in that case we need to we don't want to vaporize the cargo we need to keep the cargo as liquid only but we need to increase the temperature and what we do is we use the sea water as a medium to convert the temperature high and we pass it through the liquid line to cargo heater and it will take the outlet as 20 degree celsius and we will head it to manifold next thing we have what we can see in front of me is the these two pumps these two pumps are this the booster pumps this which can be used in when you have to discharge to a long distance uh short facility we use this booster pumps which will give a double distance like we'll take the suction from uh, using the cargo pump, pump pumps and we discharge it to booster pumps and the booster pump boost it and give it to the manifold so that you get a better distance now let's head into our manifolds both sides of manifold aft and forward you can see this emergency stop skip and you can see the manifolds here these are the liquid system too then you have vapor system line vapor line and you have this liquid line liquid system too where we have three liquid lines and two vapor lines and these are the bunker manifold thing so this is what we have in total of this manifolds guys next thing uh, you have a crane i will explain you in detail about this manifold thing we have uh, to line up many thing so we can use uh, either we have a uh, system 1 in this ship we have system 1 system 2 and system 2a 2a is connected to system 1 uh, and the system 2 is independent system 2 you can load number 2 and number 4 and uh, by combined use of this system 1 and system 2a you can load in a, any of the tanks so normally what we do is 2 and 4 we normally keep for propane so we use system 2 for propane and system 2a and system 1 we can use for butane that's what we normally do and this is our center cargo crane or uh, center crane what we say used to pick up the required the shore hose or something normally they used to connect and if required we can use next thing what you can see here is our when mass raiser what do we see in forward uh, we have two when mass raisers aft and forward forward when mass raiser what we said in gas bring or something if you want to want to vent out the cargo or something inside we use this when mass raiser we have the line up we need to open and see the line heading to it we need to open the valves set up the lines as required further is proceeding to forward as you can see they have from many things these are like they can see Old IG valve, stencil, 
gives your cargo hold IG inlet valve. Here you want to put IG inside your tank to maintain your cargo hold pressure. Now heading to it, we have uh, this is our cargo tank number one. Similarly, as we mentioned in tank three, we have everything over there also. Next thing is just heading to the forward of the ship now. As being on the forward of the ship, you can see now uh, these are the forward pinches and the windlass what we have here. Uh, these are the mooring winches. You have mooring wires and the rock tails in them. We used to for mooring or putting ships alongside. Next thing is your windlass and you have your anchor cable heading down to your anchor which we use when we need to put anchor in some outer boats or something. Similarly we have headlines, another winch and all you have so many mooring baits lines and uh, this is the emergency towing riders when the ship vents break down or engine break down or something they'll have to take tag assistance where they will be putting their wires in this and they will be tagging us throughout wherever we'll have to head or, or for some repairs these are the headlines similarly like starport side you have windless and uh, winches on the starport side also this is your four mast as you can see Foremast, they have the lights, forward mast light, and uh, many like, lights over them. Then you have your hold, you situated, you can see your hold is also there. And this is the belt we'll be using in our uh, as per call the regulation finishes. This is portion stored inside and all now. So, yeah, that's it about the texture of uh, the gas carrier mainly. You have, we can see these are the fire hose boxes. You can see this throughout uh, ship's length in different locations that you will be able to get everything. Now that's it. I'm just heading down now. Having some. Oh. Accommodation back, and uh, we'll just show you uh, the life. As we have here, the one in the port and starboard side, both sides, you can see 36 persons. We have 36 persons capacity on the live boat on both sides, and you have life rafts at the bottom. We'll be reading here, we'll be having a uh, special video on uh, what all things we have inside the live boat and what all equipments we have inside. I'll we'll show you another one. Now let's head into the aft of the ship, aftmost part of the ship. And this is, as you can see, primary master station. Here you can see every rank is mentioned. Engine room team, engine emergency team, support team, medical team, special team. This is the place we have, we have to run to muster in case of some uh, emergency alarms or something coming. You can see in these are the live boys with light and uh, there are some light boys with line also on board you can see in some specific locations it will be kept at some intervals this thing what we have in front of us is this light wrap and the emergency light wrap light so there is another source of life saving appliance if you are not able to put down your light boat you will have to this will release automatically you have two systems for it one thing uh, you can put it manually